Here we go again. All you inglorious bastards. Return of the Mac. The Mac Daddy's back. Uh, hip hop. Lamb here. I'm, I'm Jake. I'm Robert. I'm Jake. I'm also Jake. <laughs> I'm Dan. This is. <laughs> And today we will be doing Sad Dan, not Cool Dan today. No, I call him Yo Yo Dan because every day is different. <laughs> oh, what is it, Bipolar Dan? No, oh, there you go. Get him on a good day. You'll see why. Yeah. Every other day, though. Oh. I guess that being said, we'll be doing Beverly Hills Cop 3 today. You're away with segues. Trying to cash in on that soon to be Beverly Hills Cop 4 hype. That we're all waiting. Yeah, that everybody's clamoring for. All of our parents, or I guess your guys, you guys too, I guess. My parents. I guess. What parents? Oh, 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 I'm an orphan. Oh. Damn, cut deep. I'm a little old to be an orphan, but okay. Here we go. No, since your parents die, orphan. Yep. yep. I guess technically we're going right. by uh, what is it? Uh, Curb your enthusiasm. Curb your enthusiasm. That's what I said. I'm a little. You're a little bit old to be. <laughs> oh, that friend. is his. That's what yeah. he's, That's his response. <laughs> so I guess with that being said, Beverly Hills Cop. Now that we're done stealing other people's jokes, I do it all the time. I I most people don't get my references. I never. I, I that's yeah. that steel worker. That's like oh, so the whole steel industry is gay. That's just a what quote from about? The Simpsons. Oh, oh, is it really? Yeah. Oh. The whole steel industry's gay. That's also the quote. I don't know what you're talking about. It's, it's fine. Well, I'll explain it when the movie's slow. So, I guess, with all of that being said, <laughs> to say this... <laughs> We've gotten pretty far without the cursing or anything. That's yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. At least two minutes, right? Yeah. No. No, no you just keep going. Let's keep going. No, no, well, true. oh, two minutes, four seconds. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's ten minutes. Oh. It's the first ten minutes. minutes. Two minutes from... <sighs> to say... <laughs> First two minutes. Okay. Both T words. So to sync this audio track up to your copy of Beverly Hills Cop 3, simply pause this audio track when prompted. Frog. Play your copy of Beverly Hills Cop 3. At the 18 second mark, when the Paramount logo fades completely to black, restart this audio track and you will be all synced up. No. So go ahead, one more time, pause this audio track when prompted, play your copy of Beverly Hills Cop 3 at the 18 second mark when the Paramount logo fades completely to black. Simply restart this audio track and you will be good to go. So go ahead and pause in 3, 2, 1, pause. And we're back. Just try to get to say what the fuck I am. Uh, you're so slow. He beat you that time. <laughs> I, was, I was done before he started. Oh, don't even. No, I'm the judge because I'm actually listening and I'm <laughs> shouting randomly at a screen. <laughs> I have to make a full screen. <sighs> and there's no border on this one. It's the perfect aspect ratio. The actual 16 by 9 aspect yeah, ratio. Yeah, way to move that cursor. Off of the <laughs> Where am I supposed to put it? In the corner. How about the, one of the corners? Why not just put it right over the middle? Well, it is right over the middle-ish. How do you think I feel? It's supposed to go away on its own. Can you put subtitles on maybe too? I'm pretty sure the subtitles right are already on. Easy. Calm down. He's going to stop it. First thing. <laughs> <laughs> there it was. Just keep, just keep going. Keep going. There is no, there's no subtitles for this one. They don't do it. Hey, it's the same uh, police chief. Just remember, add a second in between. <laughs> pause it for a second. <laughs> yeah. No, we're good. One second off is not going to well, If we pause it for another second, then it'll be perfect. No, then it'll be two seconds. <laughs> what you have to do is pause the commentary track for one second. But that's not how it works. So this version is the one where Eddie Murphy was like, I'm sick of doing comedies. I want to do a true action movie. Okay. And tried to downplay his comedy to the point where the director noted that he was like intentionally trying to fucking sandbag the whole movie. Okay. I remember this movie more fondly than the other two. Well, the second one was awful. Well. 
Yeah, the second one is weak. No search. No search. No search. Okay, that's the common no denominator. No search. Serge. Serge. Look at this. Was oldies even back in the day? I'm so sick of old music. I swear to God. <laughs> what is going on? One of the best scenes in the fucking movie? What are you talking about? Oh, because Eddie Murphy wouldn't do comedy, so they yeah. had to do, like, uh, their own comedy stuff. Yeah, this is how trap trap workers do. Hey, look that, that Yeah, that's, oh, 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 oh. that's most likely the sun coordinator. For the oh, whole okay, movie. that makes sense. Uh, not time hard. Big Trouble. A He's time also in Big Trouble. He's, He's in so many movies. I don't think you got that right. He's in so many movies. He's the one. I'm not even going to look it up because it's not worth looking it up. I'm sorry. He's the one that breaks the the candy counter and eats the Butterfinger. In Gremlins? No. Oh, okay. In Diver. Oh. Uh, Do you remember they get ready to storm the building and there's all the guys in the lobby? <laughs> that was a pretty smooth cartwheel. I'm surprised nobody said anything. This is the most basic bitch meal you could run into our chop shop. Here's $25. What the fuck are you going to do with this? <laughs> some Ford Taurus. Yeah, you're going to some 1990 Ford Taurus. It's like it has the engine, sure. Anything with the VIN number, I guess. But, like, you can find most of a similar car in a fucking, like, a junkyard. Mm-hmm. Because it was in a head-on collision. Yeah. And it wasn't worth fixing. Less than 10 minutes. Robert, with your hard F bomb. No, uh, no, well, I mean. <laughs> well, that wasn't even English. <laughs> Don't speak Canadian. Give him a break. Never trust anyone that just walks into a place and wearing gloves. Yeah, right? Oh, yeah. This is all suspicious. Yeah, he has like uh, earphones or like earplugs in. in. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't hear you. I just put my earplugs in. Oh, okay. What's that? Oh, I think all Why are you reaching in your jacket? Gloves. Uh, blam, 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 blam. You can have little Uzis in there. Well, uh, maybe uh, I was hoping it would be the, the briefcase uh, Uzis. Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> what caliber did they shoot him with? Well, I mean, isn't there equal force pushing back on the gun as there is pushing forward? It, on it, the it, in effect. You would think. Uh, some of the spring in uh, the action takes it uh, away from <laughs> that. I don't know how much of the action is going to take something like that. I think that was the bit 300 pounds. Oh, no, there's, that was inexcusable. Would that just happen? Blank, 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 blank. What? What a small part. Yeah. That was his whole part. <laughs> he still gets credit and a paycheck. That, or they don't have to pay somebody else to do it since he's well, already got a I'll bet you if there's people that were wearing masks later, I'll bet you it's in. Like doing karate stuff. <laughs> well, I mean, he's All the like, best karate guys. Well, I, isn't there people wearing? I don't remember. I haven't films? seen this movie since I was a kid. Can you look up Eddie Murphy's career real quick? Basically, I think the Golden Child bombed so hard is why he wanted to make sure this was like a serious movie because he thought people were sick of him doing comedy when he looked up. <laughs> Well, to be fair, the last one wasn't very funny. No. No, play, 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 play. Yeah, the Golden Child. Coming to America, that was well received. Oh, we should have watched The Golden Child. Ah, uh, that's... I make that comment all the co- the time and nobody understands what I'm talking I, about. I, I take the knife or whatever. No, I'll get a cup of water and I was like, <laughs> so I, I, no, I, I was talking about a cu- having them not having lids at Circle K and I was like, I had to golden child that shit all the way to work. <laughs> and then like, like Alan chuckled 
And none of the people that were younger than me <laughs> knew what the fuck I was talking about. Because he's like the oldest one you work with? What uh, your life must be like. Yeah. I exclusively work with 60 year olds. It is insane. Yeah. Well, they probably get all your humor then. They do not. They don't understand half of what I'm saying. <laughs> you bring up TikTok. And, it might be. Yeah, I'm all grizzly toilets. It might be your list. <laughs> that doesn't help. Bring up my toilet raise and no one believes me. <laughs> Should have called squat. They didn't even know these guys were going to be there. Why would they have called SWAT? Oh, jeez. I'm so stupid. Yeah. Oh, because it's more serious. Maybe he'll be a better liar this time. No. He probably just won't lie. Oh, the captain shows up randomly? <laughs> Get me back up. <coughs> what the hell are you doing, Foley? How many clips do these guys have? Enough. I mean, you gotta figure, like, one clip oh, might last... A second? Two seconds? Yeah. No, the, the, the funny thing is he had no reason to shoot and kill that guy. He was just a man holding gun. <laughs> like... Is it illegal to hold a gun where they are at? I would assume that anyone that had a gun into a place that was firing like that would be a combatant. But How did the captain get inside? And the captain's dead. They might be someone who completely sympathizes with you and your goals. You just shot them and killed them. Bam. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big gun. Yeah, should I uh, have to throw somebody four feet though? Should I uh, in your movie uh, firearms database this movie? Hmm. Mm. The only one I'm really curious about so far, maybe Foley's, is going to be the bad guy's gun, just because it's so big. In the last two movies, Foley used, funny enough, my pistol. Oh, okay, that's hilarious. Brownie high power. I'm a Glock guy. So. That auto filled. Enough people want to look this up. That auto filled. Everybody's watching these movies, getting ready in high anticipation or whatever. Oh, could be. Fuck yeah, it's still Browning High Power. There you go. Okay. For Axel. Half power. Half point? Yeah, different guns. I know. <laughs> Hiding at Grand Dam, huh? That's always an ex- unexpected tr- uh, treat when a uh, character I like uses the same gun as me. Okay, know. villain, Glock 17. <laughs> oh. What's that chambered in? 40? 45, isn't it? Let's see. Probably 45 because it's such an old movie. 45 ACP? Yeah, it's out of a pistol, right? What are you gonna Colt forty five? Hell yeah. She's there, Grandpa. <laughs> Pull my world. Well, thanks. It doesn't say on on the page. Black, 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 black. God, I wanted one of those little Uzi so bad. I definitely carry two guns then. Oh, if anyone wants gun advice, any listeners, feel free to ask. I was we'll thinking do of doing best. a. Um, uh, gun, uh, gun episodes and stuff. I I took some videos of me shooting. It's not the most flattering, like videos, and I try to put them in slow motion to like, you know, make like it look cool. Yeah, I I don't have the body for it. I'm not like the body <laughs> type for it. I'm all jiggly guts when I'm shooting. It fucking sucks. Whatever. I can still give you advice. <laughs> There's like no, that actually looks really good. There's like no clearance on that car. There's no way you're getting over something no. on that thing. I and I'm the, he'd probably be drunk. Like, 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 God, I want what's so bad. And they're not playing the Beverly Hills Cops music. <laughs> oh, it's coming. Once he gets to Beverly Hills, watch. Oh, set that fucking cat. I swear to God, that was my box. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you always so mean to that poor cat? He's always rubbing his tail on my face. He sits right behind me and then rubs his tail on my neck. 
No, but yeah, have, these are Mac 10s and uh, MP5. Nice. The Uzi's coming later. They're not in the movie yet. Yeah. It's Robocop. That's not Robocop. I know. If we would have watched Screamers, that would have been Robocop. Yeah. That's a great movie, too. No, oh, we, forgot to say, we forgot to great. say who we're following. We're, we're not following movie. anybody. We're trying to capitalize on that Beverly Hills uh, cop uh, hype. His, uh, his black skin is way redder than I remember. Is it just me? You think they're painting him up? No, I it it's just like have you ever seen like Native Americans who look like black people or black people who look like Native Americans? Hmm. No. He's so red. Look, look at there. him. Oh, Jesus. it's all so pain. I uh, know, it's gotta be paint. They probably put chocolate paint on Cause it. Because well oh, maybe it's to the film grading or something. I don't remember him being this red. I guarantee I you we're not meant to see this in such high depth. Oh, absolutely not. Absolutely fucking not. Not that I'm bashing him. I think he has a very nice skin tone. Hmm. No. I don't remember this. I thought the captain was in the hospital. No. Hmm. He doesn't like the the awkward uh, the, the anthems or whatever. Like, <laughs> get all crazy with it. People like mock you for it. Oh, so like fire mini fourteen, Leon. Uh, sold for fourteen thousand dollars. Yeah. So if you win the lottery, select fire mini fourteen. All yours, buddy. I probably still take a little Uzi. Or what were those called? What did you say those were called? Not the MP five, the other one. Mac ten. The Mac ten. Yeah, a little Mac ten might be nice too. They're all similar enough. Um, what I remember about the Mac 10 is they've created something called like the Mac 11. It's like a superior upper that you can buy and just stick on your registered Mac 10. Your cutter. And it just makes it a better gun. I like that. Yeah. Uh, I remember it as Wally World. But apparently, that's the. That's the one from uh, National Women's Vacation, mm -hmm. yes. But I remember the song still. Wonder that would have been great, though. Do you think that would have meant that Clark Griswold's in this world? <gasps> oh, yeah. That would have been a good tie-in. I don't know what company did that. It would be funny if they were both Paramount. It would have just been funny. Here. Yeah. I, I, I like that. It would have been just like the, the fucking soldier plus... Yeah. Yeah, just Akiyama. Create multiple movies in one universe people will like it and then you have like little things like uh, Clark Griswold picks up the newspaper and he's like did you hear about this cop from Detroit or, or you wouldn't even have to you just yeah. like pick it up with it on the back of oh the it's right just right there missing, yeah. like, like, missing like a very vital you know <laughs> yes we're paying attention what if what if uh, uh, what the fuck John Candy security guard at, Wall, at Wall, Wonder World okay if he showed up again yeah because he's the security guard at well, oh, yeah, I remember that. Oh, there it is! There's the music! I told you. Oh, but it's all synced out. It's different. Do, it is, yeah. do, do. Is it? I thought it is. Was like this. No, the other one was far more defined. Miss Carlos got her hands on it. That's the person who did the music for, like... Was it the... the uh, God, the guys with the, the cod pieces and the makeup and the cane, the knife cane. Oh, are you talking about a Clockwork Orange? Clockwork Orange. The Jim person who, and the crew? Yeah, the person who did the the music for that created their own giant synthesizer mm -hmm. and shit. What did he say? We're back. Uh, hello, this is the Hollywood Police. Okay, how can I help you? Uh, press one, press two for different options. A do uno dos. A deer. If you'd like to talk to a 
No, if you'd like to talk to person, press zero. So for like to contact my person, press zero. And then he can speak French, so he just banged the car. If you guys need <laughs> help with that as well, for some reason. <laughs> like, you can't speak basic fucking French. I'm not Canadian. He still gets the same... Yeah, he's in the 67? Yeah. Alright. I like that they kept that throughout the series. That's pretty, uh... We'll see if he has in the fourth. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> Sometimes people are gay. <laughs> and then he's caught picking up a transvestite fucking hooker like four years after this. It's like, oh, you asshole. Well, at least you know those trannies will swallow. <laughs> yeah, but did you guys see Boomerang? No, I've never even heard of it. Is it Boomerang? That's one of the movies, yeah, it's one of the movies he made in between two and three that he felt flopped, that he wanted to be serious about. But that's the, that's the funny one, right? Where, no, 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 no. He thinks they're all funny. Oh, God, I can't think of the name of it. There's one of them where he's like, Oh, look at it's like a camera crew followed uh, Tom Cruise around for a year to get the the, the footage for interview for the <laughs> He didn't know he was being filmed. Yeah, that's the joke. Do you? Remember oh, that? I might have been confusing two movies. Oh, let me look it up real quick. Look it up. Hold on. No, you're thinking of Bowfinger. Bowfinger. Boomerang is the one I was thinking of. That it was a failure and people didn't like. Bowfinger, that's the one where they That's the funny one. That's, that's the, the funny one. That's that's a very funny movie, yes. Probably the last funny movie he actually made. That was a maybe a Shrek movie, whatever. Look at how short he is! Hey! What a Phoenix place. Woods? <laughs> the forests of I Phoenix. Know, I don't know who Phoenix looks like. The sweeping forests of Phoenix. There might be woods. There's not. There know? was giant. I used to live in Phoenix briefly as a child. <laughs> you think we'd know that? Yeah, whatever. yeah right. <laughs> Apache Junction was the last holdout of the Cowboys. Yeah, I lived in uh, Mesa, so I never Mesa traveled. West, I never like traveled West to Phoenix. Apache Junction. Phoenix was too far away. <coughs> Back in the day, had to pack a lunch. Hey, Bizon! Is that the guy from So I Married an Ex-Murder? No, it's not. It's just like a certain picture of the guy. Still, I like it. So I Married an Ex-Murder, second reference in two days. Somebody else mentioned So I Married an Ex-Murder. You, you did today. No, today. At oh. work. Huh. He did right now. Oh. <laughs> Maybe. Raped his bitch's eyes out of his eyes. <laughs> and what they called skull fucking. <laughs> yeah, whoa, man. I believe I ordered the large cappuccino. She was a thief. You better believe. <laughs> she stole my art and my cat. <laughs> it's like, what is a beatneck? I don't even get the reference. I actually did, though, watch it recently. I made my wife watch it because I kept calling the boy like a bunch of references. Yeah, from uh, so he didn't ask for her, but she didn't get it. She didn't get any of them. So I was like, you know what? There's this movie you should watch. This is old rom com. I think you'll like it. And so we watched it, and it was only just lie to your wife like that. <laughs> I have to get her to watch it somehow. No, it is. It is a rom com. I think the end of it is not. 
best, if I remember. The, the ending's the worst part, but the, the, the most the movie is actually decent. Yeah. No, I mean like the very end. I think they break into song, don't they? No. Oh! That, the, the bald dude. He was the major D in Pretty Woman. Oh, okay. That's right. Our, one of our most favorite movies, Pretty Woman. Most favorite watch alongs. I mean, it was surprising. Good old Pretty Woman. <laughs> the dirty prostitute sitting her, her <laughs> bare vagina on every circus you can find. He's got four dollars left. What do you got a fifty bucks we get him? No metal detector? This is pre nine eleven. I don't know what is simpler time. Imagine. Get it into an amusement park let me pat it down. Well, something I like apparently is in like Disney World, the metal detectors are like subtly hidden so you don't know you're walking through metal detectors when you walk. <laughs> really? Yes. On the other hand, Universal Studios when you go there apparently, they're just very obviously metal detectors and they're like, lift your arms and they yeah. make you walk That's through. That's how Disneyland is. They go through your bags and shit. You have to just walk through a metal detector. Oh, in California? Yeah, and put all your stuff on the table. Oh, see, I was just going by what, like, I think... Oh, you might be talking about Florida. Yes, yes. They have, they're, like, kind of hidden. No, California, it's right out there. You have to go through security before you even get tickets. See, I bet that's almost a deterrent. Oh, that's California. Yeah, where, like, in Florida, like, they can hide it, and then every once in a while you pull them out, but they try to hide them in California, it's like... One in ten people are trying to sneak out with a gun. <laughs> yeah, right. It's not worth it. That's the thing about yeah. California, Hawaii, like all these places with all these gun laws. It's like the only place I ever want to carry a gun is California, Hawaii, you know? Yeah, he looks like he works there. Josh. All looking around, all wide-eyed. Right. He couldn't even get into the place without being stopped by security. No, no. And they were on him quick, too. She's kind of cute. So somebody has to be there to do this? Yeah, you think that'd be a man in a suit? Nope. <laughs> It's an actual robot, a full blown ass robot. Yeah. Vaguely With stolen. An actual from laser gun? This is Universal Stars Studios. Studios. Yes. This is the earthquake ride I went on. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think I've been on that too. And they just put some weird guys there walking around. Mm -hmm. Liquid gas. I still remember this ride, though. Huh. I wouldn't even bolt those things down, those turnstiles. Man. Look at all the hicks. Rubes. Seems like you'd know that if you were supposed to be back there. Finally, good liar. You you say enough to make it so that they 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 have a reason to say they can lie. They can know you're full of shit, <laughs> but then they can say, "Oh, but he just said this and this and this," and they get away with it. They're granted plausible deniability and no reason to go at him. You know what I mean? Like yeah. because to go at him just makes your job harder. You have to fill up. Where's the and like. Finally, good liar. What the fuck? I break both of his ankles. Well, and if you look straight above him, look at there's like roof. Nope. He you can see there. the roof. He was he was fifteen feet in the air. 
Oh, Jake, don't look behind you. So that fucking cat back and His butthole is like... <laughs> it's about to kiss your the top of your head. <laughs> this fucking thing, I swear to God. And then it's going to hit me with its tail. It, yeah, it's angry because we talked about his butthole. <laughs> he hates that shit. Is that hey. George Lucas? That is George Lucas. Yeah. Is that his wife, too? Probably not. Girlfriend? I doubt that's his wife. That's probably just some chick. But I have no idea what his wife looks like. She looked a lot like that, and she's the one that actually, through editing, saved the first Star Wars movie. Alright. Why would he do that? Spike? He's security for there. He's, he knows he's going to be fixed. Nice well, it's fun. That's like me trampling plants at my work. Just to watch See, the gardeners have to fix it. That's the stupid part of doing this whole thing. Why did he wave him down? Why didn't he just hide up there? They would have lost him. <laughs> all all rides are run by underground machinery. <laughs> it's not like top sight. Just mechanical, you know, fixtures that are easily accessible. No, underground. Oh, Jesus. Just think what they had to actually do to make those things swing like that. It's probably just a normal ride. Probably start and stop it. I would imagine, like, if you just stopped it completely, it would start to do, make them all shake like that. And then start it again, stop it again. Absolutely. I don't know. Does that black lady keep coming up? I kind of hope so. Yeah. I think. I think she's the. She wanted to make this the love, love interest for uh, Reinhold. Oh, that'd be great. That would have been great. Because I'm into. Oh, like I thought that was a kid. White Trying male, to save the kid. White male, black female. I all into it. It's the time. It's like the early '90s or whatever. <laughs> And he's dead. Oh. What? This would have been a perfect time for the music. Oh. I think this... I'm listening. There's someone has to be else to be in charge. Where they're like, I'm willing to do like a new style or whatever. But then you gotta push my stuff into it or <laughs> something. Okay, at this point, he's gone up and down and around multiple times. <laughs> I mean, there's no reason they shouldn't have just... Oh, there's those kids down there. <coughs> you think it seems like the funny? kids should have just dropped when they got to the very bottom, right? <laughs> well, off. there's still like 20, 30 feet in the air. No, those things go almost to the bottom. They almost touch the ground, don't they? Well, they have to at some point. I see. I think they're lifted up in the air and then they spin. No, because there's multiple ones on a single axis, so... At one point, some of them are being loaded and it just well, slowly spins, and then the yes. other parts come out. Well, that's one of the machines being loaded, is their, uh, the lowest carts are accessible to the ground. But no, once the right starts, I think only the one arm part. lifts up into the air. And it then all like of a sudden, idea. it's more like you're just constantly high up in the air. I think only one car's on the ground at a time. Well, I mean, we've seen from multiple times, like, angles, him. <laughs> Been on what seems to be a Lowe's car, and he's still pretty high in the air. Yeah, that's pretty high in the air. That whole thing's high in the air. Ah, you knocked me off! Wiggle, 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 wiggle. I honestly thought you were about to get racist for a moment. He picked it up when he got to the other part. What other part? The middle section? The middle section. They just had rope? Yes. One of okay. them, there was just some rope there. Not going to question it. Standard safety rope. Are you ignorant? Rope okay. and a towel. That's You should always have those things with you. Kind of, yes. Actually, I, I'd probably say a gun. You might want to have rope, a towel, towel gun. a gun, and a knife. Okay. Rope, some towel, matches right. and a knife. A gun, a knife, and a lighter. A towel. It's a rope. You can start a fire with a gun. You can stop a fire with a gun. <laughs> Shoot... Shoot your towel. I thought you had bullets. <laughs> I think bullets count. They just count. You could take the 
take the uh, slug you off. Could, you could take, take out. You could fill your towel up with bullets. You know what I mean? <laughs> Piss on it. Light it on fire. Is everybody in the McIntyre back there? What's happening? You can't just say no either. Because George Lucas was just in the movie. You see the way he did the special effects? We'll have to look for that. If that's why he's included or if he's just a big fan. To what? Look at the rope only goes down like eight feet. What are you going to do? Come on down. Come on down. All right. That, I, I, that got me giggling a little bit. Still running the other rides because the other rides have no idea what's going on. Right? <laughs> why would that happen? And we're dead. It was already broken. That was another briefly shown very cute black woman. I don't know if you guys saw her. Did you say cute black man? Yes. Not my type. I like him a little bigger. I just wasn't expecting that. The other two movies literally had no other black people other than that movie. <laughs> So all of a sudden it's like, keep black one, keep black one. Boom <sighs> dee. <laughs> Gotta get a get better look at this one. Yeah, right? Look at that outfit. I like it. Very stewardess. He tried to take a kick. <laughs> <laughs> No, already this is better than two. So does this this isn't gonna have uh, the guy in Phoenix? He never was it done. No. He might show back up. Huh? I don't believe. So. I he, he was looking pretty pretty bad in the last one. You can see him in the fourth one. You see his, his decrepit bones and uh, rotting flesh in the second one, or fourth one. Whoever's alive. Alright. Okay. Are they still in the park? Probably not. That's hilarious. So, like, he kept taking to all those, like, you know, strip clubs and shit, and he just, like, he, like, refined it to the very one he likes. And just, like, this Hawaii themed bar all right. with all these, like, you know, fucking Asian bitches. So, he doesn't like the black woman. He likes the, the he likes Asian or South, South Asian, South East Asian. Who doesn't? I mean, not me, but. No, I don't like the yellow skin ones. 
Whoa, Robert, Jesus. Mix them. A uh, uh, black lady, Southeast Asian, perfect. Half black and Asian, huh? Call them Blasians. I think Robert's always going on about their aboriginals. No, I, there's two to three I find attractive in all the history of the world, as far as I know. Well, I mean, to be fair, you probably don't know that many. Ah, I know the ones that are famous for being attractive. I feel like there's beautiful women everywhere. There, that, oh. Ooh. <laughs> Easy, Robert. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm cutting that one off early. No, we're cutting that one off early. Yeah. <laughs> moving on. Oh, let's talk boop. Beep, boop, yeah, there's a bunch of beeps and all, shit. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, the video skips like ten seconds. <laughs> we will not have another shitless list incident here. No, 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 we don't bring it up. Red balloons. What is that? <laughs> Beep. Let's go to a different room. <laughs> Yeah, that's funny. You know, as your hotel's like open, you don't know, just assume it's like, you know, <laughs> room service. And you run in and point a gun at him. <laughs> <laughs> this has already got a couple genuine laughs out of me, so it's already better than both of the other uh, ones. Yeah. At one point, uh, I. I brought up that in Mission Impossible and 2 she's hot. Okay. was uh, filmed by an Asian director who was really obsessed with like a pigeon yeah, like or whatever. Yeah, and then he went, oh, Dan, isn't this the part two movie that had all the pigeons? Because remember in part two, there's all the pigeons. I, I was, I, I literally think he woke me up by asking that question. And I just went, yep, <laughs> this is directed by John Woo. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was not in any way. No. I was thinking about a whole different. Yeah, I was, I was, I was sleeping. I was off was. somewhere else. Yes, I like. Uh, you asked me, I'm like, yes, this yeah. is the exact movie. That is correct. To be fair, the second movie was real exciting. <laughs> it's hard to get. Hey, fell asleep during a movie. I'm pretty sure I fell asleep twice. It woke up. Uh, that's a unique thing. That's never happened before. One of us to fall asleep not even, not, not even once has it happened. I've <laughs> twice. This, uh, the, the actor they got for this guy is kind of lame. She cute. He crap. Yeah, Uncle Dave or whatever, he looks like a creeper. <sighs> he doesn't look like anything to me. He looks too generic. He looks like he should be selling chicken out of a big bucket. <sighs> Not even that. That guy at least had a cool mustache. Yeah. He did. All right. <laughs> so this is like his black tie outfit? Like a dirty shirt and a leather jacket? He just the Luigi, Luigi little hip thrust. Did you see that? I did. My dog's a bitch. Sorry, anyone can have this here. Cry. Braces. As a French man, it's like cleaner. As a French man, I can say it. Just fine. Siange. Siange. Even though he's not doing a French accent, I don't know what he's trying to do. I, I still incredibly fondly remember a moment from uh, a, a, a bit from Perfect Strangers or no. Okay. The Balky, you know the show where he played Yeah, Balky. yeah, I think Perfect Strangers, right? All right, uh, I think so. Uh, his his brother-in-law or whatever it was. Cousin. Cousin talks about going duck hunting. And Balky's like, 
Dark Knight, I would love to join you. And he, like, he gets so passionate about it. And, like, he was, like, the other guy was, like, I'll wait until, because he's one of the highlights. I should this is this why we're watching the movie? Yes. I love this because he's got that whole fifth element thing going on with his gun. Because, you know, it does, like, 50 things. Yes. <laughs> what the what? <laughs> What's going on with those like uh, the tasers or whatever? Oh, it's on a mirror. I'm like, it's got a weird blur effect. I think they're, they're just small and they're stacked up. So he's like, he's doing like a Q thing right here. He's going to give him a bunch of James Bond shit. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a really good... Uh, Connection, yeah. Analogy. They, yeah, I mean, that's a good word. <laughs> you French piece of shit. I was, I was trying to dump it down for you, and you come at me, you trying to, like, be, you trying to, you know, come at me, like, I don't even know what to say. Like, remember, he's gonna sit on the roof again all night. <laughs> That'd be nice to him. He's a nice guy. Not <laughs> on <laughs> the clapper. I love how eighties this is, or nineties, I guess, where she's just in a bikini advertising <laughs> a gun. This is like early 90s. This is like a, a RoboCop commercial. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. <laughs> Microprocessor, just randomly, there's one there. <laughs> just one. She's filleting a gun. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> this is like the commercial from Jackie Brown or whatever. Yeah. You know how they're watching that gun video? Mm -hmm. How much of Quentin Tarantino's career was based on this? <laughs> so it's... He's really hamming it up. I like it. Yeah. I think I found my favorite thing. I love that <laughs> this commercial might be my favorite th part of it. I think I found my second favorite thing. Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Anything to do with Serge. Travel? <laughs> this is a lie. <laughs> That's Sylvester Stallone's mom. <laughs> Jackie Stallone. Okay. <laughs> okay, my favorite point is him from uh, huh? Proof Strangers. You said in search. Did that you was genuinely like laugh? That was, I was uh, scoffing. <laughs> <laughs> just, just for the record, that was a... Uh, uh, Jake genuinely laughing. I genuinely laugh all the time. I, yeah, but you've done it a couple times in this movie. I laughed genuinely a couple times during that little bit. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I've laughed more at that little bit than I have at entire comedy movies. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Let's rewatch, what is it, the... The, the the dodgeball movie and right. see how many times you fucking laugh. Well, how about Beverly Hills Cop Two? That's supposed <laughs> to be a comedy. Jesus Christ, that right? was rough. That's the one with the Gun Club, right? Mm-hmm. The one that Robert fell asleep at twice. Twice. I, I, can, I really want to tell my story about the the duck hunting thing. All right, do it. So he's like, "Oh, duck hunting, duck hunting," and he's super into it. And the other cousin's like, "I had no idea. I thought you'd be really angry." And he's like, "No, in my country, ducks are like." This incredible menace. Everyone hates them. They're the most terrible things that have ever existed. And then they go duck hunting. And then, like, uh, his cousin's about to shoot a uh, duck. Balky's cousin's about to shoot a duck. And then, like, he smacks the fire up down. He's like, what the hell are you doing? And he, he, and he goes, like, I was about to shoot the duck. You said you hated ducks. He's like, that's not a duck. And he gives it some other name. And he's like, what is a duck to you? And he goes on to describe pterodactyls. <laughs> <laughs> So, in whatever country Balky's in, there's still active present pterodactyls that are a mass menace to everyone in the whole country. Terror birds. Yes. And they call them ducks. <laughs> so, when he's like, I hate ducks. You have ducks in your country? I want to kill them. This movie actually looks better quality than a lot of movies I wonder from if the they, same time. If they switched over to digital or something. I don't know. They must have. No? Because this oh, is a digital be, movie. It could just be a... Uh, no, digital looks worse than film. This it could digital. just be a high... Just they use good cameras. I, they must have. Because this doesn't look... It looks super <coughs> clear. It looks super good picture. Like, I don't know. I uh, like his jacket. It looks very comfy. Uh, Axel's. That, uh, that bomber jacket? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not bomber because it doesn't have the wool lining or whatever. Thick wool lining. It's fine. What, are you going to call it an Indiana Jones jacket? Yeah, it just looks like a nice uh, leather pleather. It actually seems... Well, it's probably leather, right? Because it's back in the day. This is pre-pleather. All right. But it definitely looks really soft because you see how it's got it rolled up. Yeah. <laughs> How many takes do they have to make them deal with that? <laughs> One more. Oh, man, okay. the worst part of this movie the Eddie Murphy yeah well funny the fact that he's not trying to be funny it's absolutely a benefit to the movie so far because imagine if he had tried to do that but be outright funny <laughs> rather than like rather than like he's trying to be more serious you know what I mean yeah I think it's been a holy benefit like it's you know, his comedy attempts oh, were guess, detrimental. Yeah, that's fair, because his comedy is the worst part of the movie. Yes. And so he's not trying to be, like, funny. Yes. You know, there has to be somebody that could read lips. And so they would be able to see the guy go, What's the matter, Axel? Are you mad I killed your boyfriend? No, yeah, I mean, come on. The, the number of people who can read lips is pretty limited, I think. No way. I feel like I can read lips pretty well. Why is he calling? I, I, I want the knife.
Mr. Anderson. Tangent Smith. That's right. Mr. Anderson. Did we do the Matrix? We did the last one. We did yeah. part four. Which was awful. The, the Matrix <laughs> re reloaded or whatever the fuck it's called. Revisited. Um, keep in mind, they Me originally figured. wanted Will Smith to be Mr. Uh, Morpheus? No, Neo. Do you know they wanted to be Morpheus? John Cla Connery? Mm -hmm. We're not sure, but he was involved in the movie. That's he, sure. we, yeah, he had a part. Who knows what he would have been? Switch. <laughs> Mouse. Yeah. Trinity. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime he's in the Matrix, it's him. No, those are all funny for different reasons. <laughs> Switch, she cuts at him when he's on the, the real world. And it's a woman who has Sean Connery's exact uh, accent doing like a really good Sean Connery impression. I like it better that it's a girl in oh. The Matrix. Did you see those? And in the real world. No, it's old Sean Connery. It's old Sean Connery. Did you see those? Those are called rollerblades, Jay. I must have missed it. I was too busy thinking about uh, a female Sean Connery in The Matrix. That's fine. How hot they would be. Yeah. His lungs are black. <laughs> That'd be great. They call me Switch. Still sounds like Sean Connery. <laughs> they call me Switch. Switch. Oh, because it's on the beach? The music. Yeah, this doesn't feel like it's hitting the same now. All right, bitches, walk in front of the camera. <laughs> was like Baywatch huge at the time? This is like where the idea for Baywatch comes from. Yeah. I choose to buzz on myself, thank you. Why is he doing this? But nobody else would. They make it fifties? Uh. <laughs> he knows what to ask. It's his first time. <laughs> Axel, come on. Just tell me. Who are you in a bag? Let's swipe that 50. Right, you know it. You goddamn know it. <laughs> they can't remember what he looks like? <laughs> it seems like they'd be pretty easy, honestly. He's a weird, native-looking red black man. <laughs> Chocolate. <laughs> I remember this part so well. The grandma goes to whoop his ass and he runs away. It's so fucking funny.
You like the little hand motion? <laughs> and then you're, you really got to sell it because you're in the outfit or whatever. Oh, man. The, the flat angle nope. and then him running off of, like, you know, camera left or whatever. That sells it so much as comedy. This is, like, this the director. Getting... Like, you know, that's purely John Landis. <laughs> you know, that it's like shit, man. This is getting uh, Jake excited. Oh, yeah, the Fox ones back there? Fuck yeah. Lady Foxes, that black woman in whatever outfit. Yeah, that animated Robin Hood really fucked me up. <laughs> you know what I think did it the worst, though? Was that Fifle. <laughs> no, it's Fifle Goes West is the one that has the hot one. Who's all freckled and shit. Fifle's sister. No, because it's the love interest from part two that's the key one, the but, uh, Rescue Rangers didn't help anything. Oh, no, yeah. I've seen a few that really in, really inappropriate images for that. You guys' sexual perversions are creepy. I'll stick with, you know, rodeo midgets. Weird butt <laughs> stuff. <laughs> the Sonic uh, comic books were in cartoon where at first they only wear gloves and shoes, so even the women who had tits were still topless and bottomless. <laughs> it was a oh. similar time. <laughs> I remember really seeing those. It was a cartoon they aired on like Channel 8 or whatever. Well, no, that was PBS. Channel 10, 5, whatever. Give me the weirdest boner. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> she did that really well. She did. But imagine how expensive that book probably is. And there's probably two copies. There's probably like one downtown and one here. Like, funny enough, Camelback High School had a printer in the drafting department that could print stuff like that. Okay. But I, most places do not. Yeah, and it's, it's actually really hard to get drafting stuff printed. Oh, you know, no, they had a printer, Jake, that was fucking over eight feet long. No, you shit. know how much those are? It's huge. We had, we had one at the sign shop that I worked at that cut uh, vinyl. And it's the same thing. You just replace the blade with a pen. But, I mean, that, that thing was probably fifteen, sixteen, seventeen thousand dollars $17,000 when I worked there in 2002. Okay. So I don't know how much it would have been. In, It'd be inflated for... 2024 prices? Well, no, I mean, in 1990s, whatever. That is probably that up. more expensive. I wonder what kind of printer they have at Camelback if they still have a drafting department. No, I bet you they don't. Yeah, they probably don't. Too expensive. Kind of. Bank I was kind of having to I replace was, the fucking printer. I was shocked it existed even when we went. They probably got donated or something. Some sort of federal grant for core programs or something That's stupid. Big, Oh, it was the core program. Yeah. Or Camelback was the the drafting. The drafting core. Yeah, you're correct. I took advantage of that. Camelback, uh, New Mexico. Elementary. Yeah. To look up, it, it doesn't exist anymore. It's never been about it. <laughs> the private school. My father forced me to go to. <laughs> Damn you! Why did he close that? Why well, I guess is that where he came that's, out of? Yeah, that's the smartest thing to do. Okay, that was covering his tracks. Yeah. Not like most movies where you just leave everything open. The music's really trying to sell this, but he's walking so slow. I don't I don't feel suspense right now. Well, imagine if he walked quickly, they might hear him. So you just kind of walk close, yeah. quite in, slowly. And they print up once? That seems like a waste. Um... Were they dollar bill ones? Yeah. I don't think they look like. Axwell. Hmm. 
Fair ones. Yeah. Um, I kind of assumed they'd be Wally World ones. And they were just kind of working on the printing. That dude was ah. on that shit quick. Is that the guy that jumped off the thing earlier to get him? I don't know. That guy was like twice his size. There's no way. Where'd that guy come from? He wasn't ready for that. How come more guys? This should be like a Matrix style fight. <laughs> I like the Johnson music. Oh, it's still the the, the Beverly Hills Cop uh, music. Oh yeah, it's just done with like army music or something. Wonder World, Wonder World. Speaking of a sea. <laughs> Not the stage. Yes. And quote with the stupid dances. He can't help himself. Put a balloon in front of your face and start walking. Why is he cabbage patching? He can't help himself. <laughs> Just keep, that's clever. Just in case, because radio language, you know, you can hear from other, yeah, yeah, they're all public. So you, you, you keep it coach and code. I like it. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> what was that about? I assume it's like his kid, his nephew, whatever. You know, he just has a connection to the kid. If not, that's just funny. I, I, that's, yeah. This movie is really enjoyable so much more than the other two. It's like, yeah, fine. Oh no, you won't, you don't want to be funny. Uh. <laughs> Think about how much of his, his funniness in like the Shrek movies yeah. is just him pitching his voice up and down kind of dramatically. And then lines he almost certainly had nothing to do with. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Because he didn't write that shit. No. He just shouts. And he has a, a, a cool voice. Yeah, okay. So, what... Yes? What would they have done if they would have shot him? Rushed over and drug his corpse away? How do you explain that? He stroke. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, he fainted. Quickly, we cover his bloody hole. How he just knows it's Foley? Black, 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 black. And Is he gonna take a kid as a hostage? No, watch. Uh, I remember what happened. So I'm not gonna spoil it. And <laughs> that was that about? Um, th he didn't want to be disappeared without evidence. Oh, okay. So he created the evidence. I remember so much of this movie, I'm actually really surprised because I haven't watched it for so long. Is he going to kick at him again? <laughs> That man looks like he's wearing makeup. He was making out with secretary. He kind of did look a little bit like that, yes.
<laughs> Man said Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Eat the special knock. Did you pick up on that? Tick, tick, tick. It's like, did this predate the Disney bucks? How funny would that be? <laughs> Just everything is from this movie. Quentin Tarantino, Disney bucks, others. Practice? No, I'm gonna guess that they used actual uh, mint. Um, what do they call them? And you put them all <laughs> like they just come one sided or something in a big thing? No, you can buy those. A whole sheet <coughs> of one dollar bills. Um, it comes from the mint. Uncut uh, or whatever? Yeah, uncut. We should just do that, that'd be fun. Frame it? Yeah. <laughs> was it like twenty bucks? No, it's more than that. I don't I don't know what it is exactly. For a ten for ten dollars you have to pay thirty, you're like, no, 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 I'm good, thank you. I'll just get a bunch of ones and yeah, put yeah, them on I'll do it. Yeah. It would probably be cheaper to get those than it would be to get wallpaper though. Do they still do wallpaper? Yeah. Yes, oh, yeah. it's stupid expensive. Some of the wallpaper they do is like incredibly nice. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't care. Point bomb. <laughs> dead. He just took off running. I'm never gonna find him. <laughs> they knew better. Jesus, look at that fucking car. Is that an old Royce or something? I don't even know. I'm not good with cars at all. It's probably I an just, old Royce. I, j I regret modern safety standards and crumple zones. They make all cars look boring. <laughs> They could make them look like that if they wanted to. No, you have to have certain shapes and stuff. They ah, I refuse to believe that. They can make it look like whatever they want. That's just old grandpa stuff nobody likes. People like stupid no. boxy corners. No. Uh, the reason, well, when I say they have to, is they have to if they want to sell them uh, internationally. So the Cybertruck yeah, could yeah. only ever be sold in the United States. Because it does, every other country basically doesn't allow such a dangerously shaped vehicle. <laughs> <to be unaware. clears throat> so, say if you were to take like the innards of a really tiny car, and then you would put like a larger shaped it? body. They followed him. You don't. Oh, damn it. (laughs) 
<laughs> just call it out, stupid Alex. Okay. Alex is, yeah, that's his new name. He's just a brain old fuck. So you probably have power. Nice drop of power. Oh, right, that nuts! That wasn't like a replica like mine. That was a fucking real one. Let's drop it right now. Touch me that like damn line. Yeah, what if he didn't throw on the street? Yeah, what if he didn't care about the guy's life? This was one to kill you. Oh, promotion? Uh, possible a promotion? Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> plan, plan, plan. He taught me to shoot through the hostage. Uncle Dave, plan, plan. Why doesn't he just shoot all three of them? Because he's just feeding into it. You know, even if even if the cops did, they would wonder why his the back of his car was full of bullet holes <laughs> from various other guns. Yes, and the bullets would be lodged in the various parts of the body. Yeah, yeah, or seats, whatever. That was fortuitous. Two cops driving by different directions at the same time, probably responding to the guns, gunfire that quickly. In Beverly Hills. Beverly Hills. Hey there. They got a shirt off quick. Yeah, they did. It's weird, you know, like this old man nipples on the screen or whatever. You're not used to seeing Why is that things. okay, but woman nipples aren't? Yeah, old woman nipples are forbidden. For voting. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha, I love. God. Oh my god. <laughs> Racist. <laughs> that was the most generic description ever. <laughs> he a black guy. <laughs> I hope he's like he's basically the one of two to three black guys in the whole There's movie. There's a black guy. Get him. We don't even need to be the edgelords this time. The movie's doing it for us. Uh, this is so good. <laughs> how I, like, I say, like, I I judge movies where, like, how much fun we have watching them. <laughs> like, how that's, like, two points or whatever. It's like, this one's going to be pretty high on that scale, at least. What if was he like, hello? <laughs> huh? uh, uh, I, I'm, I'm taking back some of my uh, idea about how attractive she is. I like the head uh, from neck up, I guess. I don't know, shoulders up. She had weird thin legs for a black woman. I don't know. I thought she was pretty shapely. I was commenting earlier how stewardess like she looked. Yeah. Well, like she was walking around. I didn't notice. <laughs> but there, when she's sitting in the chair, her thighs were really skinny. Suspected assassin. <laughs> I like black woman with little thick thighs. 
<laughs> I like this old white man listening to this. In a pink convertible? That metallic sounds... pink. No, that's a fucking... I, I drive that car if I could fit into it. I drive a metallic pink car. If we would drive that car. Oh, I assume he has the, the, the bar that comes up if you roll it over. <laughs> I'm not getting into it. I'm never going to do a convertible again if it doesn't have that shit. <laughs> the giant pistol just yes. walks by. If I start a list, it will be follow Serge to the next movie. <laughs> if we start, this guy being cat, squishing against your back of your neck, he's rubbing his tail on me. No, oh, same, same thing. <clears throat> it just explodes. <laughs> so, like, even that those the fold up lights on that car. I think even that would be kind of illegal because it creates too much of a forward thing in okay. international markets. It all needs to be kind of smooth. So when a person hits it, they're more likely to roll onto the hood and not just be rolled over by the car. <laughs> I got hit by a Prius once. A new pop me right up under the hood. Shit. You get hit by one of the <laughs> F-650s that, that I drive, you just thump thump. You just go into the tires? Oh yeah, easy. Just pull you. See, that's one of those things where they should put, like, I was saying, like, you need an additional, like, three feet of faux body <laughs> on the car. Kind of, cow kind of yeah. yes, but it's just to make it sure there is a crumple zone for a person to hit and not be just slaughtered. She looked really disappointed. <laughs> plan, 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 plan. He's like, I trust Axel enough that if this is happening, he just dove right in. See what kind of guns he had this time. Dived. Uh oh. That's not how that will. It's the Halon system. <laughs> and now they're dead. Yeah. Yeah, I don't understand what's They can't to breathe. That literally steals oxygen so fires can't burn. Here's the problem with cops. They use hollow points, or at least they used to. No, they still do. It's illegal for militaries to use hollow points. Because you ain't going to get no penetration with that. What I think they should do is alternate slugs and hollow points. Right? Because that way, you know, if it gets caught on something, one of them's getting through. <laughs> this looks like a pretty lame fucking Wally world or whatever. Maybe it's the kitty part of it. 
It's gotta be. Is that a two-story carousel? That's new. It looks dangerous. Who would get out of a carousel? I would. Why would you ask? Most of the where do they shoot in the chair? <laughs> That's the door automatically opens from the inside. I like how they have a thing to get out. Like you still have to uh, do you use your card to get out of the room. Yeah. <laughs> what are they doing? It's the leftover popcorn. Why not? All right. Shit. I ah, I'd eat so much popcorn. I don't want to eat popcorn right now. Have you ever? I've opened a bag of popcorn, like a fifty-pound bag. You told me. You told me. It's not nice. Mark, uh, I, like I, I, yeah, it smells like rat piss. And, um. <clears throat> I assume there's brands that are better. <clears throat> Try not to think of that too much. But I'm sure, I assume there's brands that uh, are not like that. And you can buy those and like you won't feel bad about upcharging because yeah. you're giving people popcorn. That's why it's so expensive. Like yeah. That's why, because uh, I buy the good stuff that doesn't smell like rats. Yeah. I don't cover it with cheap oil and salt. It's just good. Well, there you go. You think... Well, I was going to say they're using hollow points. They do, like, what is it? <laughs> Net? Uh, That's from uh, Development. <laughs> oh, remember he says the new improved Net? Because the old one got caught up or something? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> There's a song that plays right here that's so funny. It's like... <laughs> I think that might be different from the original song. Sounds like Easy E. There we go. This is the one I remember. <laughs> oh shit. More popcorn play. <laughs> <laughs> rocket launcher? Okay. Also from Fifth Element. It's a le legal rocket launcher, though. This is uh, this is pre-regular or whatever, right? This is no. like, you just buy whatever the fuck you wanted back then. <laughs> no, he banned them in 86, domestically made us like fire weapons. If not for fucking Republicans and Reagan. Yeah, Look it we, up. You can be buy, able to buy rocket launchers? Uh, no, it's like fire weapons. All right. Uh, domestically made ones, non-domestically made ones were banned in '68. But Republicans love to play, pretend they're like, you know, super guns. Like, oh, Trump, <laughs> Trump banned the bump stock. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's the biggest amount of fucking gun legislation that has happened in like a decade or two. And it was all Trump. And it was Trump. Reactionary Trump. You thought that was just a stupid guy to sue. <laughs> nope, obviously, person, uh, a robot walking, <laughs> like, ah, Jesus. He didn't even try. So I'm, I'm liking that they're, the people are actually running out of bullets. His axles run out of bullets a few times. Uh, then where was the fire? I'll save you. This is kind of funny because it's like he's been through the ride where they probably <laughs> have it, right? So they actually made him smart. A clever, he's a good liar. <laughs> I, I like that. He ran up those stairs. <laughs> yeah, like he's, why would he do an accent? This is, no <laughs> <laughs> but this is what he should always have been. Like 
who I kept saying in part two, like, just make him a good liar. And yeah. they did it. He was so bad in part two. Part two seemed awfully ad lib, though. Yeah, I don't know. the whole thing is awful. <coughs> it's the weakest one. Like, and it's saying a lot because the first one's not great. The uh, the fourth black guy in the whole movie. Hmm. <laughs> that guy's poor nose. No, oh, why do you keep hitting me in the face? I would just pretend to be unconscious so I didn't get hit in the nose again. Yeah, fifth time's a charm. Just stay down. <laughs> Linux, you. I know this. <laughs> That'd be great. It's a Unix system. Wait a minute. That is... I know this system. U I N X, not U Unix. <laughs> Unix. Play that one line. U N I X. I said. How would they get that thing in the room? Did you see? The little cart was bigger than the door. Built around it. No, I like these little action poses that are in no way beneficial to him, like covering the area he needs to cover with a gun. But he's like, this is cool. Why would you turn on the ride? Blood, I have a left line. Ah! Extra lion. Saber Tooth Tiger again. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> play, 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 play. Because <laughs> he's never been on this ride, so he's just uh, What do I do? Oh. Yeah, he's actually still a cop. So he's going to shoot first, ask questions later. Right? And then be judged by 12 and carried by 6. <laughs> Yeah, I shot a fucking mechanical lion. I bet you would too. <laughs> nope. The blind service dog or whatever. <laughs> oh god, yes. No, it was like a blind poodle. It was like, like a little, like a little yeah. 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 Duck. Yeah. God. You missed the duck, damn. Oh, you mean pterodactyl? Yes. A pterodactyl. A pterodactyl. That's exactly the kind of way I would name something. Pneumonia and chasm. <laughs> and chasm just sounds dirty. <laughs> oh, he chasmed all over the place. Oh, have you ever tasted the chasm before? I caught oh. pneumonia once. <laughs> you did it. What what effort did he have to put in to make that image on the computer? How did he get a picture of himself on there? So I'm saying, like, that's not easy at this time of day. That'd be you can just really snap a shot with your phone and fucking yeah. I write this right, I, I think. Maybe yeah. Hey. How much does it cost? Twenty five cents? A dollar? No, no. It's dude. actually the rides are free once you get in the park. Yeah, for two hundred dollars. $110. Plus parking. Under another 100 bucks. Black, black, black. And you gotta buy a ticket for everybody. <laughs> I wonder if you look up this body count over the course of the movies. How many. How many has he Yeah. Blam. Ow. I even like that. Instead of just like rolling and shooting. He just like yeah, escaped yeah, yeah. to like track it. Oh yeah. no, Reinhold! Yeah, that 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 director, he has some talent. Shame about what he did to those people. <clears throat> what people? Let's, let's not get into that. <laughs> he wasn't even doing anything. He, he's just a, a recognizable outsider. And he can't. It's better to. Err on the side of caution. Yes, no witnesses near the side. I probably would have just stayed hidden in the thing, you know. Well, but at this point, thing. but at this point, he still thinks that Axel's the one that shot. 
what's his face? Uncle Dave. Yeah, so he doesn't think that the park employees are trying to kill him. Right? But the park employees have no idea who's in the park and why. Oh. Okay. So they're, from their point of view, they're just going to dead kill anyone who they look. Ow! Ow! Earthworm Jim. A super suit did fall. Incredibly difficult game. Impossible. It's an impossible game. I just remember uh, his. He had like a B girlfriend that was oddly hot. And it was like kind of creepy. Uh, it's like it's not. It, it's, that's even worse than furries or scalies or whatever. Insect. Because it's an insect. Yeah, it's like a hot B girl. And you're like, oh. Yeah, the bug stuff's weird. I mean, it's, it's still the same time. Well, they don't have mammary glands. I mean, there's a lot. It's not. Oh, this uh, one did. They're all <laughs> mammary shit. Yeah. <laughs> did he get shot in the head? Did you see that? Bah! No, I think he just got, got beat. punched in the face, I think. That guy would have beat his ass. Shot so he got twice. shot twice? Yeah. He still saved him. Oh, right in the leg? Oh, okay. I'm just going to dead. So is he going to be a bad guy now, too? Yeah. Blam. <laughs> play, play, play. Glock. <laughs> Shut your friend. I got three kids. Let's get shot in the arm. I saw nothing. Just walks away. Your tires become <laughs> concierge in a hotel. That's decent physical comedy. You gotta squeeze the comedy in wherever you can. Yeah. Since Eddie Murphy's not blathering like an idiot. No, I meant like as as yeah, it's like yeah, that was a nice performance. Well, there was a couple of moments like that. The funny guys dancing at the beginning, and it's like everything but Axel. Is that it? You're just gonna roll the credits? Oh, I think he's dead. <laughs> Oh, did he not do the laugh through this whole movie? Oh! There you go. Finally at the fucking end. You almost made it. Because I kept making fun of it and expecting it to happen. And then... <laughs> Look at him. Probably the fox. They already had a fox. It wasn't a sexy It's going to be like a mutt. Monkey? No, that is a fox. They did already have a fox, though. So then now there's two? No, they just got rid of the old fox. That's um, right, they just put a jacket on the old fox. He was probably wearing a stupid hat. Why are they in wheelchairs? I mean, Axel has a reason, but... The other two? Uh... The oldest man doesn't have an excuse to be in a wheelchair. The other two, yes. She's talking about her tongue. I wonder if she's going to be in the fourth one. John Landis, huh? Max Landis' I'm, dad? I am yeah. not disappointed with this movie. No, It's definitely the strongest one. Alright, so, first favorite part, the whole surge bit? No. Second commercial. favorite part, the commercial? I beat you. Which one? The commercial. Ah, son of a bitch. I don't know how to stop this from going. That's yeah, fine. That's, that's fine. Um, shit, my favorite part? God. I am, I'm kind of stuck, like... 
the, the, the fact that he was also like clever and a good liar. Instead of, it, you mean the other two? Instead of the other two where he was kind of a moron. Yeah. Well, the first one, okay, is a little rough. That's fair. Second the one second was one was just bad. That yeah. was like too much cocaine and ad libbing. That's like all that was. Yeah. Right? He definitely didn't want to do that one. So he's like, I'm not reading your stupid script. You know? I'm just going to say whatever. Second one was just bad. It was bad. This one, though, I, I still think this is. Well, it's probably like that Austin Powers thing where more people went to the opening weekend of Beverly Hills Cop 2 than went to the entire theatrical run of Beverly Hills Cop. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yep. And so then they're like, oh, and it was the worst one, so now they got to redo it. The third one, they stuck the landing. The yeah. fourth one's going to be awful. I told you. Because they're all going to be so old. Yeah. They don't, uh, also, they don't remember what made what made which movie's good for what reasons? <laughs> uh, you take all the worst parts from part two. Oh uh, yeah, kind of. Just watch the third one and completely emulate every part of this one, because this is the only one that is. You think they're freaking good. Surge back? Yeah, they absolutely are. If he's alive, yes. They absolutely are. He's in it. I've seen the commercials for it. Oh yeah. Oh okay. I uh, I haven't seen it. I personally uh, haven't watched. Uh, oh, I didn't know we were doing that. Well, where are we, we going to watch a commercial? I looked it up on YouTube's. You wouldn't actively watch the commercial. Yeah, I wanted to see. I wanted to see it. I do for some movies, but I have not for Beverly Hills Cop Four. I didn't we do that for Furiosa? Yeah, or whatever. That's what's called, right? Uh, yeah, that might be one to watch. It's just you know this movie was free with Paramount Plus. Which Usually we spend two or three bucks or whatever renting a movie on YouTube. We saved uh, almost. 10, 11, 12 bucks? Well, we watched all the Beverly Hills Cop movies, so there's, let's say, 9 or $12. Yeah. And then... That's it? Uh, there's... Uh, <laughs> oh, that's the, the, the Transformers movie, the one with the beasts. That oh, you kept yeah. wanting to talk yeah, about. Yeah, let's do that with the Transformers movies. Well, we haven't done any of them Well, yet. I know, but we're going to. They're, they're also on here. There's a few movies on here that I think uh, as long as mm, mm. You got that stupid Top Gun 2. Copper uh, Gun. I want to watch it, but I, I kind of, for some reason, kind of assumed you guys didn't want to. I don't want to. But so, I think it's because it's so popular. I think it would probably be the kind of thing. We should try to get in on more popular stuff like we're doing with this Beverly Hills Cop. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even put this without laughing. <laughs> try to ape on that, you know, the, the Zeta guys. Do yeah. Well, I don't, I, I, I don't know. I'm glad that we did the series. Um, yeah. But, yeah, well, once we do the fourth one, of course. Well, yeah. But even the, the first... Is there a Beverly Hills Cop show? I don't know. Yeah, I can already tell it's going to be one of our most popular yeah. series. <laughs> I'm trying to think of my second favorite thing. Ooh, second favorite. Uh-huh. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 the one obvious thing is cute black one. Okay. I, one of my one of my one of the parts that I really like is when uh, uh, what's his name rolled out of the way of the gunfire and then oh and swept and so and then swept his until he found his target instead yeah. of just you know. Popping tumbling and popping up shooting in every direction. So I thought that was that was good. Yeah, responsible gunplay and stuff. Sometimes. Uh, and then him shooting into the air wildly to get attention. Again, him even bringing a gun in. I find it hard to believe that you'd be able to make it in with a gun. Even if you're a cop? You, he's not a cop from California. And he never was flashing his badge around like trying to get through... That's or also true. Or but the, how many, how many uh, metal detectors did you see? Zero. Okay. I guess there was one when they were going to that security show, or whatever. Well, no, I bet. I mean, at the park. Zero. So. Which, like I said, that's not every amusement park I've ever been to has security. Yeah, but I'm surprised the fair doesn't. Uh, yeah, yeah. They definitely need one, especially in Albuquerque, uh, wherever we live in New Mexico. Santa Fe. Yeah. Sure. Santa Fe. Well, we like to keep it. Come on, it's not get too specific. Guys. A bit of anonymity. Santa Fe is a big city. <laughs> it's it's a lot bigger than a lot of people assume. Well, I mean, there's a lot of unincorporated 
You know, that's kind of what we do. They have really good of a face there. Okay. Since they have more smaller tracks, you know, I'm just saying. That's fair. Santa Fe with face. Go hit up one of them Indian casinos and yeah. do the buffet. Oh, yeah. This fucking cat. I swear to God. All right, good night. Good night. Good night.